Good morning, modern status. It's cold and windy this morning. I'm assuming this is the remnants of the hurricane that everybody just had. So everybody that was in the wake of the hurricanes, I hope you're all safe. We're just getting wind and cold from it. I'd much rather have that. We need to get down below and get working on the garage this morning. It's gonna be windy. I'm hoping the wane, um, the wane, I'm hoping the rain stays holding off for the rest of the day. building my brown fat from what I understand the brown fat is what keeps you warm going from warm weather to this chilly weather now I'm not used to it I love this weather I just gotta get my body used to it I like the brisk and chilly then you can look forward to making a fire in the wood stove and I'm looking forward to doing that this afternoon chickens you're in my working area this ain't your barn yet anyways ah, they're loving taking over the spot we need to finish getting our doorway trimmed out this morning and then we can start let's see focus there we go <laughs> and then we can start on our batten strips on the side it's looking good it's finally starting to look like a building i just like the way the trim work looks it's giving that barn feel to it got to figure out how long we want our top piece of trim that top piece of trim comes long so we can get the exact way we want it so I want to just figure out I think right there yeah that'll be perfect there and there all right I like to mark this right here boom that's the same thing on this end get our reveals the way we want them right there so now we gotta hold it here like so right there and then we need to go 67 and 15 sixteenths let's go 68 short point to short point on a 22 and a half degree angle gonna need my air pro and I don't know if your chickens are like ours, but they'd much rather drink rainwater than the water we have in their bucket for them. Oh, it's beginning to be that time of the year. Winter's gonna be here before we know it. Hunting season is right around the corner. How many of you are hunters? And if you are, what do you hunt for? Do you hunt for a white-tailed deer? Or what kind of deer is in your area? We have white-tail up here. We've been thinking it'd be nice to uh, get some venison in the freezer this year. Look at that, right on the marks. I like that. If we go hunting, is that something you guys want to come along and see? Or don't interest you?
79 and a quarter to the short. You know, you got such a big mess in here. You Show can, it now so that way any you, little bit I clean up will look good. You should at least try to work a little neater when you're working. <laughs> If you didn't shoot yourself for the nail, I would have had that all cleaned up for you the other day. Right? Sheesh. Sheesh. You're messy. Probably set in a time or two, but it's gonna be so nice to have a place to store stuff undercover. Our climate, we can have winter for four to five months, and to not have a place to keep stuff out of the elements is a pain. So this is gonna be a huge game changer for us on the homestead, being able to have a place to park a trailer, our tractor, the mule. I can take my plow on and off and leave it in here. Then we've got two more bays for animals. We can get sheep and cows. And we can run them on that pasture. Yeah. Here comes the sun. I'm liking it. All right, let's get this. I gotta trim up that little corner piece a little bit. Now we can get some bad strips up. We'll start up high here and work our way over with the staging, and then we can get this flat area done. Looks nice in here. We're gonna need it. We're gonna have to start a fire this afternoon, so might as well bring it up and get it close to the wood stove. If you're new to the series, me and my wife Gina are building this post and beam garage kit that we bought from JamaicaCottageShops.com. I'll have a link in the video description down below for that. It's a pre-cut kit, it comes with the directions, and then you assemble it per the plans. So we're trying to go in here and find the batten strips we need. So everything's pre-cut and they all have stickers on them saying where the numbers, what numbers they are, which is the dimensions and lengths of them. And then you go and you put them where they need to go. Under this top should be all of our batten strips. We were lucky, we haven't had any rain while we were building this project until this last week. We were spoiled and now we're getting the rain again. Tiny, tiny bat strips for above the doors. We'll bring those over. And then we have some 40s and a half. I'll bring these over. 
The batten strips are usually a little long, so that way you can trim them. But let's get this close. I'll bring my saw over. This should be all of our angled pieces we'll need. Now it's like putting the jigsaw puzzle together. Double check it, make sure nothing moved on us. Oh, it was perfect. And my straight edge. Double check it. Perfect. Bam. Right on the money. All right, so now my question is, little tiny short pieces, do we put them in? Alright, and then we need one that is two and a half. That'll fit perfectly. Like that. That's looking really good. I'm gonna get down and move the staging over so we can get these last two and then we'll position to that doorway. I'm liking it. This little last finishing touches really make it. Yeah, that's looking good. You wouldn't think the little batten strips would make a difference, but they do. Ah, I like that one. That sun feels good. I like it a lot. I like that too. I like that. That works. Gotta go over to the other side and do the same thing now. Just trim up a couple of pieces. Boom. I like that a lot. Every time I see one of those little metal barbs, 
It reminds me of getting the nail in my leg. And that's what held it in place. It's all these little touches that I like and I can't wait for the wood to start getting weathered. I really like the weathered wood look. I know a lot of people don't. I know people are always asking us, oh, why don't you paint or do this or do that to your buildings? I like the way they look when they naturally age. And that's why we leave them bare wood. They get a patina the older they get. turned it the right way, wouldn't it? I like that right there. As long as we're nice and level. All right, last piece of batten strip for the sides of the door. Bam, I like it. The chicken didn't. All right, I'll have to get down and see how it looks and do some trimming. Oh, you can already tell what has seen the sun and what hasn't for the wood. You like it? Okay. Changes the look so much. You like it? I do. It's nice seeing the doors all framed in. And the batten strips around them. The chickens look like, look like they like it. The chickens love it. They're not gonna like it when they get kicked out into a chicken coop. Soon, chicken, soon. You girls are bundled up like it's winter time. But I need to start a fire in the wood stove. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many eggs do you think, Olivia? Ten. Ten? Yeah. I'm gonna say ten too. How many? Eight. Eight? Mm -hmm. I'm confident. You're eight. confident in eight? Are you sure you didn't sneak out here earlier? Trust me. <laughs> cool. 
two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Well, we know you didn't come out and cheat. <laughs> Are you serious? Come yep. on. It's been like four or five days in a row now. Fair and ten? Yep. I wonder when Olivia's flock will start laying ten eggs a day. Fair. You in here staying warm with the goats? Yep. Little P, how'd you get a willow spot? I know, and Hope and Ivy were sleeping right here, and they're never up there. Oh, where is Willow? Nora and Willow were sleeping under there. They, they never too sleep cold. there. <laughs> they never sleep there. They took your spot, Hope. That's usually where you sleep. Ivy, you help me. Excuse me, miss. I need your egg. Thank you. Ah, uh, three. Five. Seven. Thank you. going to make some homemade egg noodles yeah. which we love and somebody a long time ago had sent us a drying rack so we finally get to try that out instead of having noodles all over the place two and a half cups of flour and then half a cup of milk and then I have two eggs and I have a tablespoon of butter melted so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these eggs um, in here and just beat them up with a fork you want to grab me something to put these shell shells in? And Olivia loves to help make these noodles. Mm -hmm. That is really fun. We're just gonna add all the ingredients. All right, so it's gonna break it into two and just coat it. Make sure it's coated so that way it goes through our pasta maker good. Mm -hmm.
We need to get a fire going in the wood stove. It's supposed to get down to 27 degrees tonight, and right now it's 42. Luckily, we have plenty of kindling. We don't need to worry about that, that's for sure. Some bags and we headed west Thought that it might be the best thing for us But I was thinking about me And all the things that you'd leave behind Family and a peace of mind And I, I, I got you and I am gonna love you till the stars go out Shelter up above you till they all fall down. We ain't got luck, we got love. Now, when I'm gonna just pick all this up and grab some homemade sauce that we have, and then I have some meatballs that I have frozen. We'll have homemade egg noodles with homemade tomato sauce and homemade meatballs. So, we're excited for that. There's nothing like homemade egg noodles. I guess I shouldn't say that. There's nothing like homemade egg noodles with homemade pasta sauce and meatballs right from the homestead. Man, so good. Tomatoes from the greenhouse and the meatballs were made from ground pork from last year's pigs. Feels so good to be eating a meal that's made from the homestead. Are you guys big egg noodle fans? Have you ever tried making them yourself? They're fairly simple. They just take time. It's hard to go back to store-bought pasta after that. The garage is looking good. It's going to be nice once it's all done and trimmed out and then we can start using it. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and hit the like button. That really helps us out. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres.